Hello lovelies here I'm doing a little bit of prep work for my micro needling session it is gonna be a little bit different today but before that make sure you go and subscribe to my channel for more beauty lifestyle and wellness and you can go and check out my new IG page at Kit Heidi now back to the episode here I'm just gonna show you some products that I have been loving and using for micro needling this Now in order to extract this product, you have to use a syringe, this is actually a diabetic syringe for injecting insulin and it works great for serums that are contained in this medicinal capsule. It just makes for a really sterile environment, no cross contamination and a very sealed product that doesn't go bad early. And you can see I'm gently extracting that. You have to be very careful when you're using syringes, I don't recommend this for everybody. Now keep in mind my hands are washed and cleaned. I do keep a little bottle of alcohol close by. I've already cleaned the surface of my desk area which I'm going to be working on and I'm just going to do a quick clean of any instruments that I'm going to be handling. So it's just important to keep everything nice and clean. I do re-alcohol um, throughout my session just in case I touch the camera, touch my phone. I want to make sure everything's clean before there's any cross-contamination on my skin. Remember, microneedling is a type of open wound on the surface of the skin, so you do want to make sure that you're cleaning and keeping everything as sterile as possible. Now, I'm not going into too much detail with this prep. I do have another video. I will link it at the top above. You can go watch that first and see where I started, and I'm going to show face here in a minute and explain things a little bit further. So welcome back to my channel guys. I know this is very delayed video of micro needling, but there has been some things going on in the past months. So I'm, a, I'm probably like eight weeks behind doing my third session. I did have a second session that I did off video, which was a little bit more aggressive. I also had to have surgery. I also got some Botox just a little bit right here because I noticed from working and doing lashes, I was doing a lot of squinting and so I did try the Botox for the very first time and I can't get microneedling done in that time so I gave myself a few weeks in between. Um, so today I'm going to do a little bit more of a different type of microneedling. Again if you're not a professional I don't recommend trying this at home. I am doing this to myself at home just to treat my skin. So I already have a clean face and I have gloved up. If you don't have gloves make sure you just clean your hands really well. Keep a little bottle of alcohol close by and just kind of constantly disinfect your hands. We want to keep everything as clean as possible. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so let's jump back into the voiceover mode, which I love, and let's remove those dirty glasses. I am going to sanitize or disinfect my skin, I guess you could say, with some alcohol. This is just 70%, and I'm just doing a quick light pass. Again, my skin is already clean. I cleansed it already with some circadia which you've seen in my other videos now as you saw me preparing the syringe earlier it is not to be stabbed into my skin this is just to go on the surface this is just an extraction tool um, so you're not actually putting any needles in your skin I have terrible vision so I'm staying far away from my skin as much as possible so I don't accidentally stab myself but you can see I have my tools already nice and set up and clean and ready to go and I want to make sure that Whatever surface I'm microneedling, it has a lot of lubrication and glide. So I'm going to just go in a fox-like pattern. I'm going to go horizontal and vertical. I am going to do up to three passes in any single area. Now remember, this is a 12 needle um, for my device here. 12 needles means that it's a little bit more aggressive and it's going to go in and handle acne scarring way better than a 36 needle head. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and gently go in where you need the actual treatment. I don't go on my forehead. I don't have any scarring there or pores really. It's really just on my cheeks where I've suffered acne from the past and where I get the most hyperpigmentation. So you can see I'm moving into my next square quadrant, you can say. 
and I'm going to go in different angles. And if you notice, I'm not going back and forth dragging. I'm actually picking up and putting, picking up and putting and making sure I keep this area really nice and lubricated. And I see a hair in the way, but don't worry, I'm going to move that. Don't worry about hairs. So I'm going to go over this area. I had a lot of hyperpigmentation here. I was even wore a hat when I went to the beach, but the Florida sun is brutal here and it really gets you. And I use really um, strong products, so it's easier for my skin to get hyperpigmented. So I have to be very careful how I protect it. And you can notice I'm actually going 2.5 depth with this Dr. Pen, uh, which is kind of deep for most people. I don't feel it anymore. I also noticed that the more microneedling I do, I have less bleeding. So I actually don't really bleed. I did bleed a teeny tiny bit in this session, some point bleeding, bleeding around my nose wrinkles. But other than that, I really don't have much bleeding. Now, some people who have probably thinner, more sensitive skin will bleed and you'll need probably a numbing cream. I don't like putting numbing creams on my skin. That's just a personal preference. But you can see I'm starting to get a little bit more on the rosy side. Um, I don't get really super red. If you're getting super, super red, it's really not a good thing. So you just want to be as gentle as possible. If you have a client and you're doing this on someone as a professional, you don't want to go too red, guys. It's never a good thing. I see a lot of things on social media and Instagram um, showing these type of bloody type of microneedling videos. And it's just not ideal. It's causing more harm than good. It's better to get uh, results over time. Now, this is technically my third microneedling session, and I've had a lot of scarring in the past, and I still have quite a bit. I think it's just going to take a really long time to go away. Now, I have done microneedling in the past, but never done a series such as this. Now, as you can see, I kind of did some stamping where you saw me press in, and you see it. I do that on the areas that are very pitted and scarred, where I have some... Um, really deep acne scars there. You can see I'm kind of going over those areas multiple times. And then you see the area I'm pointing to? This is a stamping technique. I'm not pressing too hard, but I am stamping a little, a little deeper. And this is just to get that really tight area. Um, sometimes the needle depth doesn't reach those areas, but if we can get in there a little bit deeper, very gently by gentle stamping, it will help promote a little bit of collagen production there. I don't think that these scars will permanently go away. It's only so much you can do for certain scars, especially like ice pick scars, rolling scars. Microneedling is definitely something that will help minimize these and just help overall sagging of the skin and stimulate more collagen production, which we all need as we age, we tend to lose that. Now, I have a little bit of lip hair on the top, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but I did not wax prior to this. Do not wax prior to microneedling session. Make sure everything is kind of desensitized in the sense that you're not waxing using retinol or AHAs. Just kind of let your skin be for uh, about a week before you go in with a more aggressive treatment such as this. And this is not just at home or in the office. This is just more for professional services like this. If you have to go to a medi spa, they're gonna have um, a protocol for you to follow so that you don't further irritate your skin before going in for a treatment like this. So again, I am only going areas where I feel like I need it. Definitely around the jaws, my smile lines, even around my lip, I have a few wrinkles. I don't know why, I guess I pout early on my face. Um, and as you can see, I even messed up. I went a little bit too far on my lip and I have a little swelling going on and that's not really a big deal, but I would rather not have any swelling on my lip. It makes it uncomfortable. So I just got a little bit too close to that uh, lip line. So here are some post-care notes that I've made for you and just keep this in mind. If you go in office and you do this or you're attempting this, make sure that you follow these post-care notes. Also, just to mention, you might experience some light peeling, but that's normal and should go away by the first week.
So that concludes the actual treatment that I did on my skin. As you can see, it doesn't take very much. I'm only treating the areas that are uh, most affected by previous scarring or acne. And I showed you a, a different technique. You see, I didn't do what I did last time, like circular motions. This has a little bit more needles, so I just kept it in a more simple form with some stamping. If you have no skin knowledge, if you're not an esthetician, I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't try this this type at home. I would do something more. Uh, I would do something less invasive like nano needling or even a higher needle count just so you don't damage your skin because you you know a lot of people just don't know what they're doing. I actually struggled um, at this time around just because I haven't done it in a couple months. So you can see that my skin is looking pretty good. Again, I'm not having too much um, bleeding like you see on social media. Please don't make yourself bleed like that. Leave that for the dermatologist's office. They do a super aggressive form. They actually have different methods as to why there is more blood. Sometimes they extract blood, put it in a centrifuge, they'll put some on the face, whatever. But um, it doesn't actually make you bleed a lot. So if you're getting a lot of bleeding, a lot of um, irritated skin, and you know, it's normal to have a little bit of puffing. As you can see, I'm a little puffy, especially here where I did around my mouth where I have some fine lines. That's normal. But people on Instagram seem to go overboard with it and causes more harm than good. So make sure you're just, you know, being very knowledgeable. Don't do this on anybody else. Um, again, I am a licensed professional. I don't even do this on people just because of liability reasons. Um, a lot of people don't take care of their skin after a treatment like this, which you should always have a post-treatment system for certain things as such as this or chemical peels or a facial period. You should have a post-treatment care in place and that's for that's for professionals and everyday gals and boys make sure you have um, done your research before you go in and get this by somebody so please just be careful out there I've seen a lot of things with social media that kind of scare me and uh, yeah I've seen a lot of things that scare me this one was actually taught to me by another fellow esthetician it's like specific type of uh, serum usage and stuff and how it's extracted it's very clean and you can it's not you know, once that needle is used, I can throw it away and buy more, but this is not for everybody. If you want to use hyaluronic acid instead, you're more than welcome to. I think uh, hyaluronic acid is definitely safe for most skin types. I, I personally have not seen any type of reactions on people's skin um, out of all of the skin I do, but that's not to say it has never happened before. So make sure that you are doing a lot of research and you're going to a professional if you're just not sure. It is safe to do about every four to six weeks and I'm going to try my best to stay on time and in four weeks you will see me again with an update. I will see you guys soon. Bye!